This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you with a look at the Hobo X, a DNA 200 from Hobo Customs. Come on in here, let's take a look at it. The Hobo X features a DNA 200 chip. We're not going to go into the chip today. Uh, there have been enough videos made about DNA 200s and how they work. We're really just going over the box, the aesthetics, the ergonomics of it. Uh, what makes the Hobo X different than any other box out there? What makes the Hobo X a $390 DNA 200? But my favorite part has to be that stabilized burl wood on the side there. I love how that just pops against the acrylic. I like how those colors play off of each other. The purple of the acrylic, the dark browns and reds of the burl wood. It looks really, really nice together. And the acrylic itself has a really nice pattern. These sort of waves, this bit of purple playing off against the blue. I really like how those sort of waves kind of work there. There's also a bit of a sparkle to the acrylic, a bit of an iridescent quality to it in certain light. If you shine it in a certain way, you can see a bit of sparkle in there. If you look here, you can see the battery. You can see a bit of wiring. It's definitely going to be a subjective thing, whether you want to be able to see through the acrylic and see the innards of the box, or if you just want to appreciate the acrylic itself and hope that you get a mod with a darker acrylic. I personally really like the look of the metal on it too. I like that metal face on the back of the device opposite the DNA 200 controls. I think that's really clean looking. The metal has a really nice brushed feel to it. There's definitely a seam where the metal transitions into the acrylic and the wood. I like that the innards are accessible through the hex screws here. On the bottom, they've got a bit of venting here for the battery in the shape of an X for the Hobo X. The pin on the Hobo X is adjustable rather than spring-loaded like a lot of other connections are these days. A, it's gonna have a flush fit with everything you put down on here because you can adjust that pin with a screwdriver, bring it up or bring it down depending upon your atomizer. Another nice thing is that it's honestly going to last longer than the spring-loaded 510, which can wear out over time. A really unique feature of the Hobo X is its 510 connection, which is sort of this triangular sort of shape, which can actually become loose over time, and you have to tighten it with an Allen key. This was basically the first thing my brother-in-law said to me when he left it and went on his way, is that I'm going to have to tighten this on down because it's loosened a bit, which I thought was kind of strange, but I think it's nice that it's easy to service yourself. If something starts to loosen up, if something is wrong with the 510, you can open that up, you can go ahead and tighten it on back down. Well, YouTube, that is the Hobo X. We're going to throw the Hobo Drifter on here, and I'll see you guys on the top side. We'll vape on it. We'll talk about it. Well, YouTube, that is the Hobo X from Hobo Customs, a DNA 200. It's been a pleasure to use. I've been enjoying it for the past week or so now that my brother-in-law has let me borrow it. It's been a lot of fun. It's very compact. It's very light. The buttons, buttons are quiet, but clicky quiet. A little bit clicky, a little bit mushy. And the wood has just got some beautiful texture. I love the texture of the wood there. I just wish there was a little bit more of it personally for my taste. The hybrid wood, like little flare that you get with this purple and, and blue acrylic. It just makes for a really sleek looking sexy mod. The back plate being all aluminum, that's just classy. I really dig that. But then you look at the side and you know, it's a subjective thing. It's you know, really just going to be your preference and not all of them are going to look like this. They're all going to be different. They're all little snowflakes. But, <laughs> and this one, if you look, you know, you can really see the innards of the mod. Underneath it on the bottom, there's more cabling. The acrylic does look really cool though. It really does. I love the look of the acrylic, all the different tones and textures in there. What irks me a little bit, and again, this is a subjective thing, you know, up here around the Hobo logo, if you look like this, sort of like this oval-esque shape right underneath it. That's not part of the design of the acrylic. What that is, is glue from the board being adhered to the side of the device there, which, I mean, it's a subjective thing. How much of the inside of the box do you want to see? You know what I mean? Do you want to see the inside of the box or you just want to enjoy the acrylic on the outside? It's just a question you have to ask for yourself, I suppose. 
for me, I really love, love the look of mixed, you know, stabilized wood and acrylic moths. I really do. Personally, me, I like a thicker acrylic. Now, I don't really like to see the innards of the box. The, the inner workings, the battery, like you can see the battery in here. You can see the wiring. For me, that's not me. My brother-in-law loves this thing though. He wouldn't trade it for the world, I don't think loves this mod. So it's just, you know, subjective kind of thing. I love the acrylic that they use. I just wish that was a little bit darker. I wish that the corners here were a little bit more rounded personally. It kind of bites into me a little bit here. It's not that bad. It's a little bit curved. I just wish it was a little bit more curved personally. And when I hold it like this, it kind of bites over here. So I wish that those corners were curved a little bit more. I don't, I wouldn't want it to ruin the aesthetic of it either because I love that back metal plate. I really dig that. And personally, I would want a spring-loaded 510 versus, you know, an adjustable 510. And that's, you know, something that a lot of high-end mod users would disagree with me on, and I get it. The adjustable ones have a much, much better longevity. There's no argument there. No argument. I get it. Just for convenience, I prefer a spring-loaded 510 myself. Hmm. Overall, I really dig the mod. Uh, would I buy one myself? Yeah, probably, if I could choose it. That's the other thing about this device, is when you buy one from him, and this is like a $390 device, I was going to be buying one of these, I would want to pick the one I was getting personally. Right now, the way it was for my brother-in-law when he ordered it is, you know, he had to get on a list, he had to wait for his name to be called in the list randomly, and then he had the opportunity to buy one. But he couldn't choose which one he was getting. It was just, you know, we're going to mail out them out at random. You get whichever one you get. And he showed us this picture with about 30 of them all lined up in a row. And we're looking at him and he's like, I hope I get this one or that one or that one. You know what I mean? He doesn't get to choose which one he's getting, which for $390, I would want to say in which one I was getting personally. That's just me. But I guess I appreciate that sort of eccentricity to the whole process of getting one of these definitely gives it a very premium, very elite appeal. If you're getting one of these, you have to really, really love it, really know what it is, really, really want it. And, you know, it's part of the fun of getting one. You know, you have to have your name called in the list to get it. Then you have the opportunity. Then, you know, if you don't like it, you can trade it with other people in the group. I mean, that's part of the fun of getting one of these, I think. I, I can't believe he let me borrow it for a whole week to play around with it, so I've been enjoying it. And I'm kind of sad to give it up, honestly. I really dig the mod. Yeah, that is the, uh, the Hobo X from Hobo Customs. And uh, until next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors.